Hi, I'm Karen and get ready. This is 45 minutes of HIT, which is high intensity interval training. I want you to keep in mind that that doesn't mean that you have to do the hardest move every single time. We're all at different fitness levels. And the wonderful thing about HIT is that I show you an exercise. I'm giving you the time. It's going to be 45 minutes or excuse me, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, sometimes 20 seconds. You do what you want to with that time. If you need to modify, if the move is not right for you and you need to do something, pick your favorite exercise and do it. That would be fine. I want you to find what works for you and challenging yourself. So high intensity interval training isn't just for advanced exercisers. High intensity interval training can be for anybody because it's just challenging you where you are today, <clears throat> not where you were a year ago, not where you want to be, where you are today in the present, okay? Keep in mind, this is a Skype class that I videoed. And so when I'm facing the camera <clears throat> and I'm saying left or right, I want you to either do what you see me doing or do what you, you hear me saying, okay? So um, we've got some blocks of exercises. Um, they're gonna all be in the, the description, the details of the video. So feel free to look at those, get a preview. But do you have some uh, dumbbells? and a mat and your smile ready, okay? Here we go. All right, we have got a great hit class for you today. We're gonna go ahead and start to get warmed up, kind of kicking those heels back a little bit and warm our body up to be able to work and have fun doing it. Let's bring those knees up to the front. Just tap those knees. We're gonna kind of get those hips and hamstrings and everything ready to work. Four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to take your legs apart and bring the leg across, okay? So you're gonna touch those toes and bring that leg across. Glad you guys made it today and excited to help you sweat and enjoy it. <laughs> Got a good hit class. We've got some groups of exercises that we will do in a timed manner. And the great thing about doing things in a hit class, you can go ahead and come to the back of the mat, lock those hands out, is I'll show you what the exercise is and I'll time you, but it's totally up to you what you do with that time, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind. But yes, it's called high intensity interval training. So you wanna challenge yourself with the exercise that we're doing in that time frame. But you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing and you don't have to worry about anybody else. All right, let's kick those heels back. So you do what with the time what you want to, what's gonna challenge you with all Got different things going on. Let's tap those knees. Could be something with your knee or your back, or maybe you just had a baby <laughs> or something like that. I want you to do what you think is gonna be right for you. It's gonna challenge you, okay? So let's bring that leg across again, but you're not, I don't want you to hurt your back or hurt your knees or get dizzy or anything like that. All right, so you're gonna bring things to your pace. Last four, three, two, and one. Let's come to the back of the mat. And one more time, walk it out. Let's lunge one foot, hold and twist, and then switch. Good, okay. So in this first group of two exercises, we're gonna inchworm out and we're gonna do a push up. And I'm gonna time you for 45 seconds. So you decide whether your knees are down for the push up, whatever you need to do. 45 seconds work, 15 second rest. Ready, set, and here we go. So you're gonna walk yourself out, wrist below your shoulders, push up, and walk it back. Roll those shoulders back. Let's do that again. Abs are lifted up. We've got 30 more seconds. We're gonna do this. Again, you're doing the best that you can. You wanna make sure that your abdominals are engaged as you're doing that push-up, okay? So I don't want you 
to hurt that back. We got time for one more. Good. All right, 15 second rest. We're gonna do jumping jacks next. So get ready for those jumping jacks. We're gonna cross our arms in the front and I'll show you a low impact version. Ready, set, and go. So you're alternating which arm is on top and you can either do just stepping side to side or you can do those jumping jacks or a little bit of both. Good job. We got 30 more seconds. You're alternating which arm is on top. You're breathing. You're glad to be here. You got 20 more seconds. You've got 10 more seconds. Good. And rest. All right, we're going to inchworm out, do that push up again. So we're going through three rounds, two more of the, these two exercises. Deep breath in, ready, set, here we go. Walk it out, do a great push up, and roll those shoulders back. Good. 30 more seconds. Remember that you're fighting gravity, lifting those abs up as you walk out. Anytime we're in that plank, we want to keep everything in the middle engaged. Good job. One more time. All right, take a rest, get ready for those jumping jacks again. Set, and here we go. Go ahead, remember your options. Step, jump, a little bit of both. Whatever you can do with the, at least a little bit of a smile. You got 20 more seconds. Good. Five seconds. Woo! And rest. One more time through. All right, one more time through. Inchworm push up and then your jumping jacks. Get ready for that interim push-up. And here we go. Wrist below your shoulders. Really keep the abs strong. Don't forget to roll those shoulders back as you come up. Good. Should be getting nice and warmed up, you guys. Remember to take things at your pace. Really and truly listen to your body. But like I've said, your body hears everything that your mind says. So tell yourself you can do this. Even if it's something modified, you're doing it. Good job. Get ready for those jumping jacks. Set, and here we go. Good. And those options. Most of all, I want you to be proud of yourself for doing this today. Very proud of yourself. Knowing you could have chosen not to take care of yourself, but that's not you. You're choosing to take care of you. And I'm proud of you, you should be proud of yourself. 
You've got 10 more seconds. And good, all right. 30 seconds off. And I'm gonna show you our next thing. We're gonna be doing a back lunge, one medium weight. You're gonna alternate. So you'll lunge back and you're gonna twist. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, all right? So just your right leg coming back this time and we're gonna be twisting to our left. Get ready in five, three, two, and one. So right leg back, I want you to twist. Same leg and twist. Good, keep going. Your front knee stays right above the ankle. Good. Standing up tall, not leaning forward, engaging your middle. 15 more seconds here. Good. You got time for a couple more. Last one here. Weight down, right hip dips. So you're gonna be on that right forearm. Please take your right knee down when you need to, okay? <clears throat> Ready, set, and go. So hip dips, you're more than welcome to take that right knee down to the ground. Do the same movements. Maybe try a few with the knees up, but then when you need to put that right knee down, go for it. Breathe, you only have 10 more seconds. You got it, five more seconds, everybody. Good. All right, let's do the same thing on the left. You're gonna be lunging back with the left foot. We're gonna look over that right shoulder. Get ready, get set, and go. So left leg back, lunge and twist. Good. Stand up tall. I want you to pull that belly button away from the front of your shirt. Good. 25 more seconds on this side. Doing good. You're awesome. Good. One more. Good. All right, yes, you got it. Left hip dips. 30 seconds of left hip dips. You decide whether that left knee is down on the mat or not. Get ready, get set, abs engaged, and go. Hip dips are great, among other things, for those obliques. Very good for the obliques. And just remember, Left knee down when you need to. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and good. All right, one more time for each side for those exercises. So now we're gonna be lunging back with that right foot twisting over our left shoulder. The weight's here in the middle abs are strong here we go right leg back twist left good abs pulled away from the front of the shirt think about hollowing out through your middle staying strong 30 more seconds good twisting very strong you only have 15 more seconds here. Good. One more time. And all right, right hip dips. Let's do this again. 
good oblique work. You're welcome to take that right knee down when you need to. Get ready, get set, here we go. Just 30 seconds of these hip dips. So strong. 20 more seconds, you guys. Good. You should feel that center working your sides. Woo! Five seconds. And good. All right, left leg back. We're gonna be twisting, looking over your right shoulder. So get ready, set, here we go. Left leg back and twist, good. Very strong. Good. Just 30 more seconds, you guys. Twenty more seconds, that is. <laughs> Good, just ten. Last about eight seconds. Woo. One more. And good. Let's do our left hip dips. Get ready. In five. Here we go. Good hip dips. You're breathing. 20 more seconds the best you can. Left knee down when you need to. Woo! 10 more seconds. You got it, five seconds. Three, two, and good. All right, 30 seconds off before we move on to our next block of exercises, which starts with lovely man maker burpees. And then we'll do a pullover sit up, okay? So man maker burpees, you're gonna be jumping out or stepping out. You're gonna row with each arm. This could be done with knees down, okay? And then you're gonna stand up. I'm gonna choose not to lift my weights up. You could lift the weights, press them over the head. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Ready, set, here we go. So man maker burpee, row on each arm and stand up, good. You decide if you would like to lift those weights over the head, do it in a very controlled manner. All right. Only you know how those shoulders feel about this point in your week. Woo! One more. And good. All right, guys, you're gonna need one weight for this pullover sit up. I'll demonstrate and then we're gonna get going. So what you'll do is barely tap the ground or come close. You can do a full sit up or not, okay? Here we go. So barely tap that ground behind you, engage your core. If you wanna lift all the way up, you can, but you do not have to. Good, slow and controlled. You don't have to go all the way back either, okay? So that weight can barely tap down, but really engage your middle before you sit up. 15 more seconds. Keep breathing. Good, one more. And good. Get ready for those man maker burpees again. Same lovely choices. Weights go over the head or not. That's up to you. Ready, set, and go. And remember your option. 
to just step back and step forward. You don't have to jump. You're doing what's right for your body today. Sometimes that changes. Sometimes we sleep wrong. Maybe your neck hurts or your back or something else. Listen to your body, challenging yourself, but not hurting yourself. Woo! One more. And good. All right, that pullover sit up. Get ready. Remember what I said in the beginning. You do what you want to with the time. As many as you can, rest when you need to. Ready? And here we go. So we're gonna tap behind us, engage the middle, and lift. Good. I really want you to scoop that belly button in. Think about it before you sit up. And if you don't wanna crunch, or excuse me, if you don't wanna lift all the way up into the sit up, you could just crunch, no problem. About 20 more seconds. Strong. Last 10 seconds. One more. And good. Man maker burpees. We're going through that one more time. A joy, a happy day, right? I know that's exactly what you're saying. <laughs> All right, get ready, get set. Here we go. Now, see if you cannot always row with the same arm each time first. See if you can start with the right one time, maybe two times, start with the left. Just not always with that same side. In fact, if you forget what you've done, err on the side of rowing first with your non-dominant arm. Most of us start with that dominant arm. <laughs> Doing good. Woo! One more. Awesome. All right, you guys. Pull over, sit up. Last time. Last time. Time flies, doesn't it? When we're having this much fun. Here we go. Abs engaged. Good. Really scoop that belly button in. You got this. At this point, again, if it's pulling on your back at all, I'd rather you go ahead and do those crunches rather than the full sit-up. Stay strong. One more. Awesome. All right, 30 seconds off. Get some water. And let's look to see what we've got next. What fun we've got. All right, we're gonna do a deadlift and then a clean. I'll show you what that is. And then we're gonna do some plank jacks and shoulder taps at the same time if you want to. So let me just go ahead and show you. You're gonna do your deadlift and then clean. Stand up if you wanna press overhead, you can. Here we go. So deadlift, good. So that little hop, the only reason you're doing that is to help, so your whole body helps to get those weights up to your shoulders, okay? You don't have to press overhead if you don't want to. Breathe, good. 15 more seconds. Strong. Scoop that belly button in. One more. Good. All right. So we've got 
shoulder taps and plank jacks. I'll show you how to do both at the same time. Feel free to just do shoulder taps or just do those plank jacks. 20 seconds, that's all we're doing. Ready, set, go. You got it, 10 seconds. Woo! Five seconds. Good. Breathe. Get ready for deadlift and clean. Set. And here we go. Deadlift and push. So it's your whole body helping you. It's not just your shoulders bringing those weights to the shoulder. All right. Squeeze your glutes. You got this. Woo! All right. Breathe. Come on, less than 15 seconds. I know you're feeling this by now. Three, two, and good. Get ready for your 20 seconds a plank jack, shoulder taps, one or the other or both. Totally up to you. Three, two, and here we go. You got it, 10 seconds. Almost. Good. Get ready. One more deadlift to that clean. Woo! Set. Here we go. You can do this. Squeeze those glutes. Engage your middle. <clears throat> Good job. Woo! About 25 seconds. Really working now, guys. Not that we weren't before. 15 seconds. Woo! One more. Yes. All right. All you've got is 20 seconds. Plank jack. Woo! You can do this. Plank jack, shoulder taps. <coughs> Ready, set, here we go. Cut it down to just shoulder taps <clears throat> or just plank jacks. Two and one. Woo! All right, guys, <clears throat> take a breath. That was a good combination. You're gonna have one weight. You're gonna be lunging forward with a twist. I'm gonna to choose to have a smaller weight. I'll leave that up to you. So what you're gonna be doing is we're gonna lunge forward, weight to my right hand. Lunge forward with the left, twist, press it up, okay? So weights in your right hand. We're gonna get started in five. Staying on the same side. Ready, set, go. So lunge, twist, press it overhead. Twist, press overhead. You can take this arm out to the side if you want to. Twist, press overhead. Twist. Now as you twist, please don't lean forward. Twist from the torso. Imagine that you've got, like you're in on a carousel, the top of your head is connected and just twisting. You're not leaning forward at all. Good. You got it. And good. All right, we've got our starfish net. So you're on the mat. 
We're gonna be reaching side to side. If you need to keep your head down, you're welcome to do that. I will show it both ways. Get ready, get set, <clears throat> and go. So you can reach and reach or keep that head down and reach. Good. Or do a little bit of both. What I would encourage you to do is not use your neck muscles to lift up. All right, I really want you <clears throat> to use your middle, especially if you're gonna lift that head up. Good. Try 15 more seconds, best you can. Woo! Feeling it. You got five seconds. And good. All right, so we're going to the other side. The weight's gonna be in your left hand. And you're gonna be lunging with that right knee. Get ready, get set, and go. Twist and press. Twist and press. Good job. Belly button pulled to the, away from the front of the shirt. Awesome. 15 seconds. Good, one more. Woo! Starfish one more time before we move on to our next group of exercises. All right, remember the works from your middle. You're not using those neck muscles. Here we go. Good, reach. You decide whether you're lifting that head or not. Strong. An option would also be, look, to lift one foot up and then the other, all right? If both feet off the ground at the same time is too much, just 20 seconds. Good, breathe. Woo! Almost. Three, two, and good. 30 seconds off. Get ready for those, that next group of exercises. You can do this. You're gonna start with a plie squat and an upright row. Plie squat and upright row. You decide what weight you're using. We're starting in 10 seconds. Toes are pointed out, abs are strong, and here we go. And row, good. Toes are pointed out, so we're getting those inner thighs, all right? Good. Squeeze those glutes as you lift up. You can always even just use one weight. If you ha don't have lighter weights, those shoulders have about had it. Put one weight down, hold on to that one weight with both hands and just row. 15 more seconds. Good. Last one. All right, come on down. We're gonna sit in a V-sit. This is gonna be for your abs. Feel free to put one foot down. Feel free to put both feet down. Just move the upper body. It's gonna be totally up to you. So shoulders down. <clears throat> Here we go. I want you to kick it out and in. <clears throat> you could also hold on underneath. <clears throat> Watch, one foot and then the other. There's an option for you. Just 15 more seconds. Good. Three more. Two more. One more. Woo! Good. All right. 
plie squat, upright row. Can't wait, I know that's what you're saying. Toes are out. And here we go. So keep the head and chest up. Just because the weights are coming down doesn't mean that you're doing bad and looking down, okay? So you're coming down by bending those knees and hips. 30 more seconds. Stick with it. Good, persevere. It's so tempting to quit at the end. See if you can persevere. If you've got the time, we're right here. 10 more seconds. Woo, five more seconds. Good. Let's do those V-sit kicks one more time. You're gonna have those weights near you for the last block of exercises. Get ready, get set, and go. So you can take one leg out and then the other, or anytime you want to, both legs can go out. Just 20 more seconds, whoo! Hang in there, breathe. <clears throat> 10 more seconds, you guys. Be smart, listen to your body. Good, all right. Get ready for your last set of exercises. We're gonna start with a skull crusher. Okay, so I'm gonna choose to use my weights. If you end up just using one weight, you won't be able to do part of this, but that's okay. All right, so all you're doing is it's a skull crusher and then elbows down. All right, if you want to do that with one weight, be a little bit different, skull crusher, elbows down, all right? Get ready, let's be strong, do the best you can. You can lift those hips up if you want to, here we go. Skull crusher, elbows down. Skull crusher, bend those elbows, use those triceps. Good. Breathe. If it's too much to keep those hips lifted, don't worry about it. You only have 15 seconds left. Woo! One more. And good. All right, let's put our weights down. Let's start standing or sitting up. Excuse me. You're going to twist, lifting one knee up and rolling all the way down. If you choose, to stay on the mat rather than come all the way up, that's fine. All right, it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna roll down. We're gonna look over one shoulder. Roll down, engage your middle before you lift up. We are alternating sides. Scoop that belly button in. Stay strong. Good. Really think about right before you lift up. Engage your middle. Woo! You got it. Last one. Good. All right, guys. One more set of skull crusher. And then pulling those weights towards the middle of the chest. Let's end strong. Lift the hips up. Engage your middle. Here we go. Skull crusher, elbows pull down, good. Feel those muscles working. <clears throat> when you're a little bit sore the next day, or a lot of bit sore, that means those tiny muscle fibers are teared, torn. And when they repair themselves, guess what? They're stronger. So every time you feel that soreness, just tell yourself, oh, that's my muscles getting stronger. That's all. That's all. Woo! Come on, about 12 seconds. You got this. Last one. And good. All right, weights down. Let's go ahead and start sitting up. 
You're gonna roll down, twist, look over one shoulder. Last thing, let's end this strong, all right? So come on down from that middle, twist, good. And look over that shoulder. So opposite elbows coming to that knee, you're scooping that belly button in. You're not just flinging the arms to lift yourself up. This is from your middle. Yes, you can. Even if you're on that mat, just doing crunches, do something for your abs right now. That's it. Just something, your choice. Just 15 seconds. Woo! Strong. Last one. Awesome. Woo, tough one. Hope you guys felt it too. Nice job, everybody. Let's take those feet apart. Let's touch our heels if you can. Lift those hips up into your bridge. So separating through your hip flexors. Deep breaths in. Let's lower down nice and slow. Let's take those arms straight out to the side and just windshield wiper those knees. So take them over to one side, look in the opposite direction. And then slowly switch. Good, slowly switch. Awesome. Slow and controlled. Last time. Let's bring those knees tightly, hug them in, shoulders down. Look over one shoulder. Stretch your neck. Slowly switch. Good. Cross your right leg on top. You can hold this onto shins, ankles, or feet. Gently, those toes come towards your shoulders. And let's switch. Hold on to your shins, ankles, or feet, and gently toes towards your shoulders. Engage your middle before you rock yourself up. Good, let's come on to your hands and knees. Arch up and give yourself a nice cat stretch and glance up to the ceiling. Good, let's go ahead and lunge that right foot in front. Hands on the inside of the foot. Take your left quadriceps, sink it forward, but make sure your right knee stays right above that ankle. Deep breath in and out. Let's walk the right foot to the middle of the mat. Tuck the toes under, lift your left knee up. And let's tuck the pelvis under, leaning yourself back. Crescent lunge. Now let's come down to that knee, flex your right foot, shift back, and lower the chest for a nice right hamstring stretch. Good, right knee on the mat. And let's push that right heel back. Press your whole body back to stretch that right calf. Good, now let's lunge our left leg in front. Hands on the inside of the foot, pull those hips forward. Make sure that that knee is right above the ankle. Sink that right quadricep towards the mat. Deep breaths. Walking that foot in. Let's go ahead and tuck our toes under in the back. Lift up, tuck the pelvis under, lean back. And that right knee comes down, shift your weight back, lower the chest for a left hamstring stretch. Deep breaths helping you to slow that heart rate down. Left knee down, and that left calf stretch, press your whole body back. Good. Let's come up to the knees, come on up. And let's clasp our fingertips behind us. Pull those shoulder blades down very gently. Open your chest, chin in your chest. Good, let's pull those fingertips back. So very gently pressing the heel of the hand forward. This is good if you've been doing push-ups or planks. It's also good if you work at a desk and at a computer for a while. 
Good, shoulders down, take an arm across, look over your shoulder and switch. Good, nice deep breath in, blow it out. Give yourself that sweaty hug and pat on the back. Have a great day, thank you for doing hit with me.